there in today's video we will be learning how to create the dispersion effect uh, basically this is what the dispersion effect is and this is this effect was seen in the movie marvel avengers infinity war so what i i'll be doing is i'll be adding that effect on this face you can create your own face or you can add that effect on any object you want so but i'll be adding that effect and i'll be showing you how to add that effect on the face and to i have already made a video on how to make this face using keen tools face builder add on so if you have not watched watched it you can go and watch it so let's get started so the first thing we have to do is we select the face we go into the edit mode and then we subdivide it and then we come again in the object mode then we add a particle to it so particle properties and we change this number to 5000 start frame as 0 end frame as 0 and lifetime to 250 and now you can see if I play uh, if I play the play button all the particles just fall down so we don't want that so to change it what we'll do is we'll change the velocity normal value to 0 and now if I play the play button you can see like all the particles are now stuck with each other but it's still falling down so we also change the field weight inside the field weight the gravity value to zero and now if i click the play button nothing is happening now the next step is we add a force field so shift a force field and we add turbulence so we grab it place it over here and scale it and now we change the strength strength of the force field to 3 so yeah and now if I click the play button so you can see that all the particles are just moving in no direction so the next step is we add we have to add a collision so to do that we first add a cube we shift a mesh cube scale it and we just change the viewport display value to bounce so viewport display bounce and now we just align it properly all right so here we have the free, uh, cube now now we add a collision to this cube so collision and uh, suppose if i now if i click the play button you can see all the particles are just moving inside this cube it's, it's not coming out of it now we don't want this particle to move inside the cube and like we don't want it to move inside the cube itself so we change this field absorption value to 1 also the permeability value to 1 so now if I click the play button it's still moving because we haven't like checked this absorption box of the force field so we just checked it and now you can see nothing's moving so now we'll do some quick animation to do that we select the cube we press i and location rotate scale we select this option and it automatically add one keyframe to our first frame and then we move this frame to 20th frame and then we also move this cube 
so over here and then we press i only selected channel then we go to the 48th frame and we again move this cube over here somewhere then we again press i only selected channels then we move to the 60th frame and we move this cube somewhere over here and press i only selected channels and in the 8th 80th frame we move this cube and we press i on this selected so yeah now if we run our animation it will look something like this so this is basically the dispersion effect it's not completed yet but we are almost done with it so now we select the face and we change this render value to none all right and then we add one modifier which is the explode modifier and we select this cut edges checkbox refresh it and we are done so now if i run the animation ah slow it's gonna take some time but yeah if i run it ah it's too slow but yeah you can see the dispersion effect it's gonna take some time i don't know why it's running so slow but yeah you can add you can also add a subdivision modifier to get one get a detailed look so i'll suggest you to add a subdivision modifier as well so now you can see as the cube passes the face all right you can see this the parts of the face are getting dispersed so yeah it's kind of slow but if you have a good gpu then it will give you a much better output so yeah this is it for the video i hope you liked it and if you like it then please do subscribe my channel please hit that subscribe button and also the like button as well thank you so much for watching